Hits the 2-0. Swing, line drive, right field. It drops. He touches home. The game is over. The game is over. The wait is over. How about this for a weekend softball showdown? The defending national champs versus a red-hot SEC newcomer. Welcome to SEC Diamond Report. I'm Hannah Chalker. It was a top 10 collision in Tuscaloosa when Missouri rolled into battle Alabama. Both teams are in contention for the conference championship and both teams are eyeing the Women's College World Series next month. Also, the LSU baseball team is setting school records. We've got a full recap of that in our SEC Play of the Week coming your way. Alabama flexed their muscle on Friday night in the series opener. It was the number nine hitter Courtney Connolly that got things rolling for the Crimson Tide early. Connolly looking for a gapper and over the head of Kingsley. One run is in, rounding third and headed for home is Hayes. And a huge delivery by the number nine hitter Courtney Connolly. That was basically all Bama needed with ace Jackie Trena on the mound. The J train struck out six in a stellar outing as the Tide took the opener four to one. Missouri bounced back on Saturday. The Tigers broke out the bats in the third inning, putting up a four spot. And that was enough for senior pitcher Chelsea Thomas. Thomas hurled six shutout innings to lead Mizzou to a nine to four victory. And it was all Bama on Sunday with a resounding 14 to six victory. The Tide is now 35 and 6 overall and 10 and 5 in the SEC. Let's now check in with SEC baseball. Number 2 Vanderbilt headed to Oxford for a series against number 17 Old Miss. It was a pitcher's duel on Friday night as the Doors and Rebels battled to a 1-1 tie through 7 innings. Vandy finally stretched the lead in the 8th. Tony Kemp came around to score on Connor Harrell's clutch two-out single through the left side making it 3-1. Ole Miss attempted a ninth inning rally, but it wasn't enough to beat the Commodores. That was the theme throughout the weekend for Vanderbilt as they swept the series against the Rebels, moving their conference record to 10-1. That's good enough to lead the SEC East standings. Two other big SEC sweeps over the weekend. 11th ranked South Carolina took all three from Tennessee. The Gamecocks belted out a season high 21 hits on the way to a 19-2 victory on Sunday. With the win, the Gamecocks are now 8-4 and four in the SEC and will be back in action on Tuesday. And LSU lit up Kentucky and Baton Rouge over the weekend. Oh my, you could pucker off and kiss that baby goodbye. That is over the bleachers in the left field. Jacoby Jones muscles up and sends one out of the reach of everybody. The Wildcats scored a total of six runs to the Tigers' 31. LSU sophomore right-hander Cody Glenn earned the victory on Sunday, allowing one run on six hits. The Tigers have won 12 straight games in nine consecutive SEC contests. That puts them atop the SEC West standings with an 11-1 conference record. LSU's 30-2 overall record is the best 32-game mark in the history of Fighting Tigers baseball. And that brings us to our play of the week. LSU freshman Mark Laird shined defensively all weekend against Kentucky. Check out these incredible plays. The LSU Tigers have had college baseball by the tail with the best record in the country. Kentucky got off to a great start last year, too. A.J. Reed drives one deep to right center field, and it is caught at the wall. An extra base hit. Goodness gracious. What an effort by Laird and LSU. SEC fans, keep up with your favorite baseball and softball teams right here on the SEC Digital Network. We have live stats, highlights, game recaps, and much more. I'm Hannah Chalker. That's your SEC Diamond Report.